Keyframes are a rather complex concept, but the basic purpose of a keyframe is to mark a specific point in time when you want to set an attribute value on a layer. Keyframes are only available in the Animations tab. There are two keyframe timelines that become immediately visible. One directly above all of the attributes you may be assigning a value to, and the other directly beneath the preview window. A third keyframe timeline is under the Keyframes tab in the slide list. This is the only keyframe timeline that shows keyframes for multiple layers in a single slide. All keyframe timelines include both incoming and outgoing transition times. So this 8 second slide plus a 2 second transition results in a 10 second keyframe timeline. Setting different values for an attribute or even multiple attributes between keyframes creates animation. For example, if we set a layer's horizontal position to negative 25 on its first keyframe, then set the horizontal position to positive 25 on its second keyframe, it moves from the left side of the screen to the right side between these two keyframes. If we want this image to end its motion before the slide ends and sit still for a few seconds, that will require a third keyframe. In order for an image to have no motion, you must have two identical keyframes. You can click and drag keyframes on any timeline. The blue timecode indicates where your keyframe is. If you click and drag on the timeline itself, you'll see a green timecode. This indicates where the playback marker is. To set a specific time for a keyframe, right-click on that keyframe and choose Set Time for Keyframe. To add a new keyframe, simply double-click above the timeline. When adding a new keyframe after the last one or before the first one, that new keyframe automatically takes on the previous keyframe's attributes. And when you have two adjacent keyframes with identical attributes, there is no animation. So in this case, we've moved our image from left to right over six seconds, then it sits still, and we've done this using keyframes.